What is going on YouTube? Lamont on the run. Today we are at the Calvary Cemetery in uh, Springfield, Ohio. I stopped here just to do a live on my other channel and I just got done doing it and I'm about to hit the road. But before I leave, I wanted to ask you guys a question and tell me what you guys think. Is this girl really homeless or is this just a big scam? Now, if you don't know who I'm talking about, uh, this girl has a YouTube channel called All In With Ari, right? And uh, she basically uploaded a video, I want to say uh, less than a month ago, and it went viral. It, the recording of this video has about 1.3 1 million views, right? So this girl claims that she lives in Southern California. I don't know what part. And she claims that she lives in her car and she's homeless. Kind of suspect, right? Because you see a girl that cute. And when I say cute, I, I, there's levels of attractiveness that I find in women, right? Uh, hot, there's girls that are fine. There's girls that are sexy. There's girls that are smoking. There's girls that are cute. There's girls that are drop dead gorgeous and there's some that are beautiful. She is what I would refer to as disgustingly adorable. She's cute, but she looks like a, she just looks young, I don't know. So I definitely wouldn't call her hot, but no, she's cute. So this girl, I'm assuming her name is Ari. We'll just go with that. So she did a couple videos about what it's like living in a car in Southern California. I watched three videos of hers as I was driving, well, listening to, not, not watching. I listened to three of her videos as I was driving from Columbus here to Springfield, right? So I'm going to give my opinion just based on only watching three videos. So... I will say this, she definitely comes across as um, believable. Also, you could tell that she has watched other uh, van dwelling channels, you know, people that live in their vans, they live in their cars, right? So she's definitely watching them to see how to do videos in her vehicle, right? And... I believe she said that, you know, she lived in her car because basically Southern California is way too expensive. And she had a job. I don't remember if she ever said where she worked at. I don't think she would say that. I just remember hearing a story about how she was changing her clothes and some random idiot opened her door while she was like half naked or whatever. So she does come across as believable. Now, do I believe that she really sleeps in her car? Uh, you know, I'm one of those guys that, you know, you, you can't just, you know, pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. Um, she does come across as believable, though. The question is, though, however, do I believe personally that she lives in her vehicle? And um, the jury's still out. I have no idea. But if she if she doesn't really live in her car, uh, she's doing a good job at pretending that she lives in her car. So... Let's just say she really does live in her car, right? Um, this is what's going to happen to her channel. She's going to uh, continue to do videos in her car. She's going to rent an apartment because right now you got a very cute girl who got 1.3 million subscribers. So you got a lot of horny guys messaging her this and that. But she's going to get some genuine offers from people saying like, hey, listen, I got an apartment in uh, LA or wherever she lives at, and I'll, get, I'll I'll get you a really good deal on it. So somebody's gonna find an apartment for her. Someone's gonna, someone's even gonna say like, "Hey, I got a guest house in the back of my property. Um, you're more than welcome to stay there for free." That's what's gonna happen. So she's gonna move out of her car. She's gonna move into a place, and then she's probably gonna do one of two things. She's either gonna pretend that she still lives in her car. Or she's just going to say, hey, I found the place, but I'm still in my car. And then people are going to stop uh, stop watching her videos because they're going to get bored of her content. She might even get uh, offers from somebody that's a producer for whatever, Netflix. 
So she she can she's a cute girl, like I said. She's gonna get offers from people in Hollywood. It's just gonna happen. Maybe a little small role somewhere, somewhere here, so for a web series or maybe YouTube, a YouTube web series. That's what's gonna happen. And then eventually she'll she'll continue to do YouTube. She's already gonna be making right now with donations and, and revenue from her videos, she's gonna be making about ten thousand dollars a month. If she uploads how how I how I see she's uploading like a lot, she looks like she uploads every day. She'll be making ten thousand dollars. And then her channel will slowly die because people will just got they'll they won't be interested in her anymore. If she were smart, this girl has an opportunity right now. I'm imagining that eventually she's gonna run into this video. So if you are watching, Ari, I believe that's what your name is. If I were you, here's what I would do. Number one, you're making good money right now. And I, I believe someone would even be willing to buy you a, a van. If you hold out, if you don't buy a van right now, if I were you, I would stay in my car for the next couple months. The weather's good over there. Do not move in anybody's house. Do not move in an apartment. Just, just struggle in the car. That's what people know you for, for is living in your car, supposedly. I don't know if you really do, but let's just say you do. Keep that going. If you move into an apartment or if you move into somebody's house, your channel is going to dwindle. If you want to keep the channel going, if you want to become like a, like a big time YouTuber, which you can, you got to stay in your van. I mean, excuse me, stay in your car. Do not buy a van yet. Just wait two months. Wait until somebody offers you a van for a good price. Then go buy it. Wait two months. Somebody will come at you with an offer. You will even be possibly hit up by somebody from uh, Mercedes-Benz or Ford gifting you a van. That's what's going to happen. So just chill out. Don't buy anything right now. Do not move into an apartment. Don't move into anything. Stay in your car. Wait for somebody to hit you up for some kind of an endorsement deal. This girl, if she plays it smart, she'll get a van, right? If you just kind of travel up and down California, do a little bit of traveling outside of California... This girl can have a half a million subscriber YouTube channel uh, by next year. I don't think she would grow that fast that quick, but she already has 73,000 subscribers. By that time, if you got a half a million with donations and this and that, you'll be making, hell, you might even be, you'll be making well over 10. You might even be making 20. If, if you upload the way you do with donations, you get a Patreon going, you get uh, this going, that going. Yeah, yeah, you'll be making some, some good cash. But that is if you don't take anybody's offers right now, just refuse of all of them. You'll do it out. You do it all on your own. It, 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 trust me, right now it would not be worth it. Even if somebody said, "Hey, I got a good little role for you," I wouldn't take it. I'd be like, "No thanks. Just stay with the YouTube. Stay in your car. Whether you really live in your car or not, pretend whatever. Stay where you're at." Because people are often gifted certain situations and they always F it up. They always F it up. I got a good example of that, but she'll be a, a different video, a separate video. I'll give you a clue on who I'm going to be speaking about. She lives or she lived in a Ford Bronco and then she ruined her channel. But uh, I think I know why things happened to her. So we'll get in depth into to that. But anyways... Hey, if, if I could tell that girl one YouTube channel to watch, to emulate, go watch Nikki Delventhal. She did it correctly. She did it correctly. That's how you do it. She did it smart. Does that girl really live in a Prius? Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. She probably camps out in it to make content. And then she goes back to her uh, Airbnb or her hotel or whatever. By the way, Nikki, if you're watching, uh, hey, hey, listen. Hey, no, no, no beef, no beef, okay? But come on, kid, we all know you don't live in your Prius like that. If she really lived in a car like that, she would have already had a van. So, but she had a, but what I'm saying is she had a good shtick. I live in a Prius. 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 She already has well over 400,000 and she will be probably, she will be a million subscriber YouTube 
YouTuber eventually down the road, right? Hell, it could even happen by the end of uh, the end of next year. And I'm and I'm pretty sure that girl has been hit up with all kinds of offers. Has she taken any of them? I have no idea. She'll be a separate video. I'll talk about her later. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Do you think this girl really lives in her car or you think she's faking the funk? I don't know. You, you tell me. Let me know. Catch up with y'all later, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.